This beautiful Sunday at Bidet Makaska you can do it, you can do it, is good timing. First one across the line wins. Ah! For the milk carton boat race. They're running, they're running, they're running, they're running. On Who's gonna win? land. Yeah. A little different. It's something out of the ordinary, and it's definitely not ordinary. The annual event normally on the water here at Thomas Beach using milk carton boats turned into a portage race this year. It's a nice thing to see in the water. It's too bad it isn't this year. For more than three weeks now, high bacteria levels have kept beaches at Bidet Makaska closed to swimming, and organizers of the boat race had no other beaches available throughout the city. We just thought, well, let's, we've got these lemons, let's make lemonade and we're doing a portage race so people can carry their boats down our little racetrack here to the finish line. Charlie Casterly says he just tried to make the best of the situation, oh, okay. even if it meant lower turnout. That is the message, you know, and if something bad happens, you can still pick yourself up, dust yourself up and have an event, have a little competition. A little competition. I'm here, I'll do it. For Kirk and PJ Johnson to take part in. Make the best of it, we're gonna go with it. Even if it is on land. Go, 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 go. I think next time we're going to be faster. <laughs> Still a great day to be outside here along the lake. I'm glad they didn't cancel it all altogether. And as for those E. coli concerns here at Bidet Makaska, Minneapolis Park and Rec Board leaders plan to test the water Monday with those results expected back on Tuesday. In Minneapolis, Alex Hagan, CARE 11 News.